Welcome back to another video of Let's Learn Flight Simulator together where you and I will be learning to fly together. In our today's video, we will see how to use the built-in replay function of Microsoft Flight Simulator to record and replay your flights. You can also use the replay tool to better your skills, especially your landing. It is not the best replay tool for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it gets the work done. Let's get into it. As of October 2023, this replay tool is an experimental tool, meaning it may have bugs and is not very stable, so use it at your own discretion. The replay tool can be enabled either from your main screen or from within your flight. To enable it from the main screen, go to the options menu, then click on general options. Here click on the experimental button. You can enable your replay tool from here. To enable the replay tool from within the flight, you can press escape button on your keyboard to access the options menu. Then you can follow the same steps as we did to enable the replay tool from your main menu. The replay tool is not available for training flights and activities like landing challenges right now. After you have enabled it, you will be able to access the replay tool from your user interface. To start recording, simply press this recording button under sequence recording. I will talk about other options as we go. After you start recording, you can fly as you usually do. Now, to replay your flight, go back to the replay tool through your user interface and stop recording. After stopping, you can either replay your flight or you can save the flight. I usually prefer saving my flight before replaying. I will show how to save flights and load them later in this video. You can see that the flight we flew is being replayed. The camera view of the replay will be same as it was when you recorded the flight. To change the camera angle, click this button under camera track recording. Doing so, you can change the camera view to whatever you like. Let's switch to the outside view. To hide all these dials, click show hide UI. Make sure not to close the replay tool window with UI hidden. If you do, you won't be able to access any options or UI and you will be forced to restart. To save a flight, open your replay tool and click save as. Give whatever title you would like to give and click save. Depending on your computer specs and the length of the flight you are recording, saving a flight can take anywhere from a few seconds to hours. It takes my computer around 45 minutes to save a 3 hour long flight recording. To replay your saved flight at a later time, you can start a new flight and load the flight that you had saved. And again, the time required to load a flight will vary based on your flight length and your computer specs. I hope this was useful. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Please let me know in the comments if there is any other tutorial you would like me to make. Thank you so much for watching.